Traders, in this video, I'm going to take you through the MetaTrader 4 app. This will also work for the MetaTrader 5 app as well. But basically, what I'm going to show you is all the different features that you've got. Basically, how we can add different sort of um, markets, how we can set up our charts, how we can add indicators and drawings and things like that, where you can see all your trade history and stuff. So um, basically, I've got the app in front of me so I'm just going to go through with it and you can see I've got a list already here of some currencies but let's say I wanted to add some currencies now the first thing we can do is just go to the plus button here you can see it says forex and we can have a little scroll down through and have a little look at those I can go back I can select a different uh, variation here Usually here as well, we'll see things like commodities and things like that. But because I'm just using the basic app here at the moment, there's nothing really added here. You can see gold and silver are down here anyway. So if I want to add, let's say, gold to the chart, all I need to do is click the plus button there. You can see that it's disappeared from the list. I'll just click done. And on the bottom of the watch list here, you can see it says gold. If I click on gold, you can see that it says trade, chart, details, or cancel. I'm just going to cancel that for now. But essentially, this is where your area is going to be. Now, you have two different types of areas. You have simple and advanced. Advanced just gives you a little bit more detail. Uh, for instance, you've got the spread here on the left-hand side. Uh, you've got the low and the high of the current daily candlestick. And you've also got the um, sort of uh, values there of the ask and the bid price. Okay, uh, Simple just gives you the ask and the bid. You don't see any other of those details. Now, if you want to edit these at any point, there is a pencil in the top left hand corner. You can click on that and then you've got these kind of lines and, and sort of bullet points. Bullet points mean you can just kind of select the different uh, currencies and you can either trash them or move them. Uh, essentially, if you want to move them, you've got this sort of uh, sort of three lines there and you can click and drag up and down to kind of move uh, the currencies around so let's say you just wanted to have sort of euro pairs in line you can just have euro pairs and you can obviously move them so they're in line or maybe have a specific watch list that you're looking at that week you can just move them around and things like that um, so to unedit that you just click back on that pencil there and uh, the next thing you want to do really is to move on to your chart. So you can do one or two things. Uh, you can either click chart at the bottom. That will bring you up a chart. Um, this is saying it's on pound US dollar. Uh, let's say you didn't want to use pound US dollar. You want to use a different chart. Just come into this area again. I'm going to click gold. So just click on gold, click chart. And you can see a gold chart has appeared. Now what we've got really is the chart in the middle. Uh, we've then got the prices on the right hand side. Uh, we've then got the trade button at the top right. We've then got objects, indicators and the crosshair um, on the top. And then we've got the time frame towards the top left. So if I click on that time frame here, I can change between the time frame. So I can go to the daily chart for instance. And to zoom in, you basically just want to pinch as you would on your phone normally if you were zooming in and out of a photo. And we can do that quite easily. Now to set up the charts uh, is fairly, fairly simple. Uh, all we need to do is come over to the settings tab. Now the settings tab here is where you find pretty much everything. So you can see I'm just on a MetaTrader for I iOS demo at the moment. If you wanted to change that and find the broker that you're working with, so if you want to find Blueberry Markets, just come into here, click the plus button, uh, and then you'll see open a demo account. You can then go through the process of opening the demo account with Blueberry Markets. Um, essentially, uh, we've got other things here as well, like your chat, your mailbox, and things. So that's where your alerts will go and stuff like that. But essentially, today I'm just going to show you how you set up your charts. So I'm just going to go over to ch charts here you can see there's some data so I can either select between the bar chart the candlestick chart or the line chart um, I can see volume so I can just collect this uh, select these ask price and things like that I've got the period separator selected at the moment so that's that kind of dotted line that you'll see on the chart trade levels so when I open a trade it will show me my entry stop and targets if they're on um, and then you can do things as well with the data window and stuff now to select the colors you just need to go down to colors and you can choose uh, a different kind of scheme I've got a custom one on but if I wanted black and white I can just click black and white if I come out of the charts there uh, and hit chart you'll see that it's come up with the grid and things like that in that area um, if I go down to uh, charts again just go back in we can change all these colors around so 
if you have the custom color on your MetaTrader platform yourself, you can go and kind of change that. So let's say if I want to change uh, to green and black, I can do that, okay, and just come back through, hit chart, and you can see that it's gone to green candlesticks and, and white candlesticks on a black background. Once you have your chart set up the way you want it set up, essentially what we can do here is change through multiple different things. So uh, at the top, you've got the uh, crosshair. So that's been able to you to sort of drag the crosshair very similar to the MT4 desktop version. You can kind of see your prices down the right hand side there and you can see the date along the bottom. Um, you can add indicators to the chart. So if I click onto indicators here, you can see I've got a couple of indicators already. Those are moving averages. If you want to delete them, just hit edit and you just click that sort of stop sign and just click delete Okay, and click done. But if you want to add an indicator, I'm going to hit the main window. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm just going to select the relative strength index and then I'm going to click done just with the sort of basic settings there. You can see that's appeared on the chart now and you can see that it's, uh, if I scroll down, it will kind of change the variables there as I use the uh, crosshair. If you want to add objects to the chart, you just need to hit the sort of shapes looking button. You can see I've got multiple ones on here already. But let's say you wanted to add a specific object, just go to add object. Let's say I want to add a horizontal line, I can click the horizontal line. Now you can see that it's kind of got a sort of circle, which means it's selected. So I can actually click and drag it up and down here. Um, what I can do if I want to change any of the settings on an object is uh, select and hold come down to properties and you can see here um, that there's all different types of things that I can do. So if I click on style, I can change the color and the thickness. It's very basic. So I can change it to, let's say like a sort of a yellowy color. If I want to make it a bit thicker, I can click on that and then just click done. And basically it's changed that color now. Now let's say you wanted to take a trade uh, on gold here, two ways you can do it. You can click the trade tab at the top, you'll get this screen here. And basically what you've got is your instant execution. So that's live into the market. If you wanna change that, you need to select it. And you've got different variations here. So we've got our limit orders and our stop orders there. So stop order is you want price to go through a, an area. So if you're gonna use a sell stop, you want price to come lower to trigger you in. If you're gonna use a buy stop, you want price to go higher and trigger you in, okay? Um, so you've got the order types there. Uh, if you click back in uh, to your charts and just tap, you can see the trade area appears again. Just select that and then you can set different things. So obviously you've got your volume in here so you can work your volume out uh, with a, a calculator online. Let's say you just want it to uh, 0.01. Uh, you can set your stop loss in. You can just click on it and it'll bring up a number and you can just add or take away for your stop loss depending on which uh, you want to do. You can see it actually gives you a little bit of a... Uh, uh, sort of uh, view on the chart below there so a little bit of an example of where your stop loss would be so if you hold that down you can see it goes uh, to the downside if you click the, click the plus button let's say we want it above those highs there for instance same with the take profit if you click on the take profit all we need to do is uh, kind of minus that off i'm just going to go and hit a uh, short on this just to kind of show you the example so if i click sell let's say it's been uh put in and you'll see that it's on the chart there now if I just go to a minute time frame there you'll see that this is the sort of um, the markets in here so you can see I've got a take profit and I've got a stop loss just through there if you want to edit this at any point all you need to do is go to trade you can see that it's on here we can just come into this tab you'll see our balance and equity and things like that so that one's just been knocked out there. Uh, this is a good time to just show you that if you go to your history, there is the history of the trade. So if I just go back to this area here, what I'm going to do is actually just go up a little bit of a higher time frame. I'm going to go to the hourly. Let's have a look for a buy on the hourly. So what we can do is uh, if you know where your stop loss is going to be, so it says 21.78. I'm going to go 21.70 on the stop loss and on the take profit i'm going to go 21.90 uh, on the uh, buy 
and then what we can do is just click buy there so if i come to the order now you can see the take profit what i'm going to do is actually i'm just going to go into the settings here and i'm just going to take off a couple of things so if i go into colors here you can see the grid uh, i'm just going to make that grid black and then go back to the chart and that'll basically knock the grid off just so we can see it a little bit easier but you can see i've got the buy order in on the left hand side i've got my stop loss in and around this area here and take profit to the highs if you want to change anything at any point you come over to the trade tab this will show you your profit and loss it will show you your volume that you're trading at now to kind of edit this all you need to do is swipe left on it and you've got a couple of different things now the tick button will take the order off essentially or kind of um if you click it here you'll see it says close profit this is where you can kind of edit the area as well so if you want to close down a bit of your position size you can um the pencil is obviously edit you can come here edit your stop loss and take profit and then you've got a plus button which is another sort of trade and then you've got the chart which takes you to the chart okay so that's how you can use the metatrader 4 app um, to kind of set up those order types uh, in the market so that's what all i'm going to show you today on the metatrader 4 app if you do have any questions hit the comments down below subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next video